hello guys welcome in this video i will review this esp01 module this is an wi-fi module based on esp8266 microchip esp01 is a very popular module because of its wi-fi connectivity feature also it is a soc or system on chip module so that we can use it as a microcontroller also in today's video i will discuss about its spin out and will show how to program this module at first, we will introduce the pin of ESP01. If I hold this module like this way, then the right side pin of the first row will be recognized as pin 1 and the left side pin will be pin 2. As the same way, the right side pin of the second row will be pin 3 and the left side pin will be pin 4 and so on. Now, the first pin is ground pin. We will connect the ground of our power supply to this pin. The second pin is ZPIO1 and this will also be used as the TX pin. The third pin is ZPIO2. The fourth pin of this module is chip enable pin. We need to connect this pin with VCC for proper functioning. The fifth pin of this module is ZPIO0 pin. This pin is also known as flash pin. During program upload, we must need to connect this pin with ground. If we provide ground to this pin, it will go to flashing mode. Sixth pin is known as reset pin. If we provide ground signal to this pin, the module will be reset. Seventh pin is known as GPIO3 pin. It is also used as a RX pin. The eighth pin or the last pin is known as BCC pin. The positive or BCC pin of our power supply will be connected to this pin. Remember, we must need to provide 3.3 volt to this module higher voltage can damage this module. To program this module, I will use this programmer. You can buy this ESP01 programmer module from Amazon or AliExpress. Using this programmer, we can easily program ESP01 module. But before using this programmer, we need to do a little job. Here I have connected a push button between GPIO0 and ground pin. This will help me to set the module in flash mode before uploading the program. Now I will set this ESP01 module to this programmer like this way. Okay. Now I will plug this programmer to USB port of my computer. Remember you must press and hold the push button till the module gets power. Okay. This module get power and it is now set to flash mode. Okay guys. Now we will upload this simple blink code to our ESP01 module. At first go to this pc and right click on it and go to manage then go to device manager and go to port section here our programmer is connected on com 14 now open the arduino id and go to the tool section then go to the board section here we have a esp8266 board menu from this menu, I will select this generic ESP8266 module. If you don't have this ESP8266 menu, you must need to install the ESP8266 before doing this job. Okay. Now I am selecting the generic ESP8266 module. Then go to the tool section again and click on port. Then click the port where our programmer is connected. For me, this is COM14. Okay. Now I will click on upload button then the code will first be compiled and after successful compilation the program will be uploaded to my ESP01 module. Here the program is now uploading. We are looking the percentage of program uh, uploading process. Okay. Our program is successfully uploaded to the ESP01 module. Okay guys, I have already uploaded the program to this module. Now if I connect this module with any kind of USB port or USB charger, the built-in LED of this module which is connected to the GPIO1 pin is blinking. Now we will remake this project in our breadboard and we will look at how we can build any kind of project in breadboard using this ESP01 module. Here we have a breadboard. Now at first we need to connect this ESP01 module to our breadboard. 
but this module cannot be connected directly to the breadboard for that we must use a expansion board like this this board is uh, made by me if you don't have any vero board you can you can buy a ready made expansion board or either you can use jumper wire to connect this module with breadboard here i am connecting the usp01 module in my breadboard using this expansion board now we need to connect the wire to uh, supply the power for that at first i will connect the vcc pin of my usp01 with the 3.3 volt power supply the ground pin will be connected with the ground pin of our power supply and the chip enable pin of this module will be connected to the vcc pin of our power supply now i will connect the led with my module i have write a program to on off the gpio one pin here the gpio one pin is declared as the tx pin this is the gpio one pin i am connecting the anode pin of this led with the gpio one or tx pin and the cathode of this led will goes to the ground now we need to give the power but remember that this module is powered up by only 3.3 volt so you must provide the exactly 3.3 volt power supply if you provide 5 volt then the module will burn for that i am using this programmer because this programmer supplies 3.3 volt perfectly okay now i will connect this programmer to any usb source or uh, mobile charger to take the power okay our circuit now getting power and the led is blinking it means that our module is working perfectly okay guys i hope all of you understand how to program the esp01 module and how to build a project in your breadboard if you have any question about this project feel free to comment if you like this kind of video please subscribe my channel in future i will try to show a lot of more interesting project to make using this esp01 module till then stay happy stay safe